How you doing, everybody? Um, you may notice that I am dressed in a little bit of different outfit today than I normally am, and you may also notice that I'm wearing a polo shirt. Now, I would make a joke about being sponsored by Ralph Lauren and this update video being sponsored by Ralph Lauren, but if I did have a sponsorship from Ralph Lauren, I wouldn't need to dress like this anyway because I wouldn't have to actually worry about getting a job. So I'm gonna pass on that joke. Anyway. Here's an update video. Enjoy. I swear to God, I'm never gonna get used to wearing dress pants. It's just not in my blood. Anyway, yeah, I, uh, actually I'm filming this update video immediately after getting back from my job interview today, and it, I think it went well. Um, I honestly don't think I screwed up on anything, and it seemed like I was having a nice friendly chat, there wasn't a lot of stress involved, so I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling very confident. We'll see how it goes, I'll probably keep you guys informed on Twitter, I don't think I'll make another update video to tell you whether or not I got the job, but I'll, I'll be on Twitter and I'll let you guys know. Anyway, so, Mass Effect 1 is over, and my break from doing the series is now considered over. Um, it's gonna be a little bit tougher to record Mass Effect 2, when I get to it, which by the way I should mention since uh, I have already spoiled it. I'm, I'm sure it wasn't a spoiler, but obviously I was saying I was going to do the trilogy. So we're going to jump straight into Mass Effect 2 here as soon as I'm done with this. But uh, I, um, yeah, it'll be a little tougher if I get hired to record the whole thing. But I think, I don't think I'll need any more time than I did for the last one. I think it'll probably be around a month uh, of recording time from uh, when I start recording it, which will be in probably few days to a week uh, to the end of it so it'll probably start going up like let's see beginning of August I'm gonna say that that seems like the approximate time it'll start going up and the trailers all planned so um, that's already taken care of and I know you know what character I'm gonna use and everything like that so pretty much I have everything planned that is set in stone at this point but as with the last playthrough I want to ask you guys now if uh, you know if there's anything that you specifically want me to do in Mass Effect 2 then I would appreciate it if you'd let me know down below because that would be very helpful specifically the thing that I want to draw attention to is um, well see Mass Effect 2 does things a little bit differently um, because your schedule in the game is sort of timed and it's hard to explain how it's timed without you know spoiling the whole game essentially but um, Basically, there are three different types of missions in Mass Effect 2. There are the regular missions, which you do in order to advance the story, and obviously I'll be doing all of those. There are DLC missions, which are um, also going to all be done in the playthrough, because I in enjoy the DLC for Mass Effect 2, and I think it adds a lot of uh, depth to Mass Effect 2 itself, and I have all of them, so I might as well play them anyway, even if I didn't enjoy them, I have them also. But I enjoy all of them regardless, so I'll be playing them all. So that's, those are the first two, and those will all get done. The third ones are the assignments. Now, for Mass Effect 1, I did assignments, and I did pretty much, I think, all of them, except for the Renegade exclusive one, which I didn't have any access to because I didn't have enough Renegade points to do that. So, I did all of them. But in Mass Effect 2, because of the timing thing in the game, um, you only get a certain number of missions that you can do over the course of the whole game before the time runs out and you're forced to go and do uh, specific missions that uh, advance the story to the point where you can still do the assignments after them but it becomes increasingly more difficult to budget your time as it goes. So I really just wanted to ask how do you guys want me to handle the assignments? Um, I mean I'm not 100% sure about it myself yet. I know when I played Mass Effect 2 the first time through I didn't do any of the assignments, man. Like, it's, so basically, if I did them this time, it would be virtually blind. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, because because I didn't have any time to do them, so that's why I didn't bother with them the first time. But um, I'm thinking maybe like I'll do as many as I can during the story, during the main story, and then um, I'll wrap them up if we didn't do all of them in like a little bit of post-game content or something like that. I'm not 100% sure on that yet, but we'll. We'll see how that goes, um, because I can make a save file before, you know, the final mission, and then I'm like, okay, well, you know, before the final mission, um, 
we'll go back to it after we've done the final mission for the finale, and then for bonus episodes I'll do all the assignments that I missed or something like that. I don't know. But I'm not really sure how I want to handle it, so that's why I want to kind of throw in you guys' field and have you guys let me know about how that's all going to go. Now, I promised I would uh, elaborate a little bit on this to Don when he was asking about uh, the PC uh, the PC version of the Mass Effect trilogy. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I'm not playing Mass Effect Trilogy on PC at this point. Uh, first of all, it's just because I currently have the trilogy for PS3, so I figured why the hell not I'd play this one. Um, just because I have it, you know, I don't have to go buying $200 worth of games and DLC in order to do a playthrough. Um, second of all, and you guys know, I'm paranoid that about this computer. Oh, the screen's been on this whole time. Hang on a second, you guys have been watching me talk this whole time. There we go. Uh, <laughs> we'll just keep going. Anyway, um... I'm, I'm paranoid about this computer being able to run games. Um, I want them to look the best that they can, and I know at this point I cannot run Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3 at 1080p at 60 frames a second on this computer. But it's not just a matter of upgrading the graphics card. And I mean, it might seem like it's just like, okay, well, you're getting a job, pay $300 once you get it, and then put up for a new graphics card. Well, it's not that simple. Uh, first of all, this computer is shared by everyone in my house, so that immediately generates a problem because that means I only have it for certain times of the day to use it to record and that sort of stuff. Uh, and second of all, that means that if I'm putting a bunch of money into this thing and when I eventually move out of this house, which will happen in the next few years, I'm sure, because I don't plan on staying here forever, um, when I eventually move out of this house, if I've got all this money stored in this computer, I'm not going to take this thing with me. This thing's got an old i7 processor. I'm going to want something new, you know? I'm going to want something with more processing power than what this thing is capable of. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to get a new computer when I move out of this house. So if I put a lot of money into this, it's kind of a waste because it's like I'm not taking this thing with me, you know? And then more so than that, um, and, and you probably wouldn't know this if you didn't do editing or anything like that. Um, the jump from 720p to 1080p when you're rendering and uploading something is roughly double the rendering and uploading time. Um, and then the jump from 30 to 60 frames a second, which YouTube is now capable of, so I'd have no excuse to not do 1080p at 60 frames a second. The jump from that 30 to 60 in that is also double the render and upload time. So I'm essentially staring at if I want to do a PC playthrough of any game that is relatively modern that's capable of running things at 1080p 60 frames a second, I'm staring at four times the rendering and uploading speed. Now, I don't care about the rendering speed being four times that. Like, if, if a video has to sit for two hours to render, that's fine. I'm already uploading a video. I might as well. But based on the current uploading speeds that I have on my current internet package, I'm looking at roughly, if, it was, if I was to upload a video, a 30-minute video, 1080p, 60 frames a second, I'm looking at, relatively speaking, about 12 hours of upload time. And that's just unacceptable, man. Like, when I upload on this computer, this whole house basically goes dark for the internet. Like, it's, it's, nobody can use their mobile devices in this house when I'm uploading, which is why I usually upload these things overnight. But nobody in this house sleeps for 12 hours. I can't just leave it from 11 to 11 or something like that because people are going to be wanting to use the computer in the morning. They're going to want to be using it before they go to sleep at night. And I, it's just not, it's just not going to work with the current schedule. Now, I could, you know, pay for a better internet package, but based on the fact of where we live, our current location doesn't really allow you to get a really solid internet package unless you bundle it with TV and uh, phone stuff. And we have TV and phone stuff, but I would have to pay for a bundle in order to get go from 1 to 2 up speed to 15 to 20 up speed, and that would require me getting the most uh, expensive bundle, and I'd be putting up in excess of about, if I was to pay for... I don't know, half of it I'd be putting up in excess of $500 or $600 a month, and that's that's a lot, you know, that's a lot to be putting up. And I don't mind if it's just me putting that stuff up, but I barely ever watch TV anyway, and I don't use our landline, so I would want to put up just for the internet package. So I guess what I'm saying is until I move out of this house, um, you know, PC playthroughs are definitely possible, but if I'm going to be doing PC playthroughs, it'll probably be of games like Volt White where I can play them on emulator. Um, a true 1080p 60 frames per second video on PC of a relatively recent game is probably going to be a pipe dream for the next couple of years, and that's on this channel, that is. And that's unfortunate because, you know, 
I would like to provide the best quality footage that I can for these playthroughs, but if it's not feasible given my current situation, then I just can't do it. And I'm, so and I'm sorry for that. And I'm sorry if anybody was hoping for better and is going to be disappointed about this now, but it, it, there's just nothing I can do until I, you know, get my own internet package with really good uploading speeds and all that sort of stuff. There's nothing I can do to change my current situation at this point. So sorry if that's uh, disappointing to anybody, but on a lighter note, um, like I said before, the trailer is all planned for Mass Effect 2. I'm going to look at my... I've got, I've got the schedule of the things I want to talk about in this upload, up, update video right here. Uh, the trailer's all done. Uh, about a month of recording to be done, and then it'll be starting up on the channel. Um, the only thing that I'm a little worried about... Um, well, I guess I'm worried and also not worried, because if I do get hired at the job that I just got, had the interview for today, um, I have a little bit of money, which will allow me to buy FL Studio, finally. And um, then... There's also the issue of sound glitches which have been happening with my microphone over the course of the Mass Effect playthrough. I didn't know they were happening when I was recording because obviously I can't look at the screen here and look at the screen over there and do the recording and the maintaining the editing and everything like that. So when I was editing I started seeing the sound glitches and I made sure I noted them and said sorry about them when I was looking at the footage. Um, but now that I'm getting a little bit of money if I'm going to get hired, which again it's, it's all tentative until I get hired. But if I get a little bit of money from being hired, I might be able to buy FL Studio, which will allow me to work on original music mixes. I don't know how often those will go up, probably not very often, but they might once in a while. And then it might also allow me to get a microphone like a Blue Yeti instead of a Blue Snowball, because I, it's either an issue with the USBs on this computer, or it's an issue with the, the Blue Snowball itself. Um, I've switched out USB cords, um, and I know both of them work, and it doesn't seem to be that because I get sound glitches regardless of which USB cord I'm using, so it's got to be an issue either with the USBs on this computer or it's an issue with this, the microphone itself. Um, so I'll have to discern which that is, and um, I think I have a spare microphone that I used to use just sitting around upstairs, so I'll probably I'll probably test it with that one and see if it's anything like that. But once I figure out what it is, I might have to buy a new microphone. But if I do, it shouldn't be a big deal because I am hopefully, crossing my fingers at this point, going to be getting this job. And then once I do, I'll have a little bit of money that I can then spend to make the channel a little bit more quality than it currently is because I don't like sound glitches in my commentary. It just doesn't work for me, you know. But yeah, um, that's just about it. The only other thing that I was going to talk about that I probably should have talked about when I was talking about the things that I need suggestions for in the Mass Effect 2 stuff is that actually just today, and you might have seen these if you looked over in the corner here, just today the, these three books shipped to me. I'm trying to get them all on the screen at once. I'm sorry if you can't see all of them. These three books shipped to me today. Uh, Mass Effect Revelation, Ascension, and Retribution. Now, Retribution is uh, not really currently relevant, but in Mass Effect 2, you can purchase these books at the Citadel stores. You can purchase Mass Effect Revelation, you can purchase Mass Effect Ascension, but they only give you like one or two paragraph codex entries on these books. So I figured it might be fun if I purchased these books for myself, read through the entirety of them, and then in something like a Vanessa's audio log, I gave a sort of synopsis of these books because they do have some backstory to them and they have some characters that come up in Mass Effect 3 that it might be worthwhile for me to kind of give you a synopsis on the book so that you're not missing anything. So we don't get to Mass Effect 3 and you hear about the main, one of the main characters from that book, from the, that book series, and you're like, who the hell is that guy, you know? So uh, let me know if you think that I should do that. I mean, I already have them, so I'm going to read them regardless. But... Uh, let me know if you think that I should do like a little synopsis on them in a sort of audio log fashion like I've been doing. I'll do Mass Effect Revelation and Ascension in audio log format if I'm going to do them, if you guys decide, yeah, that's a good idea. And then I'll save Retribution for Mass Effect 3 because that actually came out in between Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, so it's probably a better idea to save that until then, so but yeah, that's how I'm going to handle that. But other than that, yeah, um, that's pretty much the update video. Sorry for being so long-winded here. I'm I'm, I'm still working on the whole thing, but I guess, you know, being in an interview today, I'm feeling a little bit more talkative than I usually am. But that's basically all I had to say. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you, uh, I don't know, um, you know, leave your suggestions down below. I'll chat with you guys about what you want me to do with the assignments in Mass Effect 2, and if there's anything specific in the game that you can remember from your own playthroughs that you want me to do, just let me know about those. And then I'll see you guys around... Twitter or somewhere until the trailer's posted, which probably will happen in around a month, so that should be uh, all good, but until then, have yourselves a great day, take care.
Oh, oh I'm so tired. I need, to, I need to go take a nap. It's been a long day.